Let me start with a bold statement. Most people quit. And it's no secret that most people quit, but it's also no secret that successful people never ever quit. And statistics show that out of 10 businesses, nine fail. And the average age of a millionaire in the US is 55 years old. So by the time that person got to a million, he or she failed 17 times. Now there's different statistics. Maybe your numbers are a little different, but the fact of the matter is that most people quit. And it's also no secret that successful people, they never ever quit. And because of that, I wanna encourage you, watch the series. I'm gonna, over the course of the next seven videos, I'm gonna share seven reasons based on my experience working with hundreds of coaches and consultants. Those were the main mindset related issues and reasons why coaches quit in their business. And the reason why I'm sharing this with you is because it's my mission to help coaches accelerate and grow their business because I believe what you have is valuable. What you, what you have is valuable to the world and people need it. And if you quit, nobody's gonna benefit. You're not gonna benefit because you're always gonna ask yourself, what if I could have made it happen? What if I could have made it work? And people who could benefit from the, your work can't if you quit and go back to get a job. So here's reason number one, your past. A lot of us are carrying a heavy, heavy backpack around every single day. We put it in front of us, we climb over it, we say, wow, that was tough. And it was just a baggage from the past. When two people get together, what we do sometimes is we take our bags, we put them down and we unpack them. And we open them up and we take a look at them. Talking about your past and your past failures, it's good to learn from them, not to repeat the same mistakes twice. It's not good to ponder over them. It's not good to be stuck in your past. It's not good to be sharing this with others and talking about it because what you focus on expands. So if you're focusing on all the negative things from the past and you're predicting it into the future, thinking that this is going to happen to you again and again and again, guess what? It will. It will become a self-fulfilling uh, prophecy. Now I want to not only share with you those seven reasons why coaches fail, but also give you quick tips at the end of each video, not to leave you devastated. So here's my tip, catch yourself. Whenever you start wandering back into the past or thinking that because of past failures, you cannot make it, just catch yourself and say, stop, realize and be aware of what you're doing. Stop yourself and say, look, what happened in the past is no guarantee this is going to happen again and it's not predicting the future. I don't have a crystal ball. I don't know what's going on. So I need to just adapt and react to the feedback I got and change and get better. So that was part one, your past. And those reasons are in the order of importance and in the order of what I found to be most significant for coaches when they quit. So number seven, top seven is pondering over your past and letting it stop you. Natalie Sabrina Dow, hope this was useful and I'll see you in the next video.